Hello, Tom Cosm here. Um, I'm excited today to show you a tool I've made to display two waveforms at once in Ableton Live. Made for DJs because it's really handy to be able to see two waveforms, especially if you're mixing tracks and you don't know where the drops and the breaks and stuff are. So it's really experimental at this stage, but I'm putting it out there anyway, just so you guys can break it and tell me what's wrong with it, what you want to see with it. And um, yeah, so, and it's free. The link's in the description. So it's called Multi Waveform Display, and it's a simple thing like this. It doesn't look quite much at the moment, but once you click open, you get this cool control panel here. Um, now, first thing you need to do is you need to specify which audio tracks are your deck one and your deck two. So you see I have two audio tracks here, deck one and deck two. So I'm going to list here, it'll list all the tracks that are available to me. I'm going to pick deck one for deck one, and list will pick deck two for deck two. Now we need to drag in some music. Now it's important to note here that the only way to get the BPM is to have it in the file name currently or manually enter it yourself. Now this is a bit of a pain in the ass but it's not really something I can access from within Max for Live to actually get the warped BPM of the track. So you need to have it in your file name or you need to um, enter it yourself. But that's um that could be improved at some stage. So I'm just going to drag one of these tracks in here. Um, I've dragged it in and if we go back to live what we can do is uh, we hit reset which is going to be your favorite button because this tends to do weird things sometimes and I'm just going to hit play, hit reset again and we've got our first waveform playing and you'll see there's a, uh, a marking point that moves along with the time. The BPM has to be correct. See how it's picked up that this is 128 BPM. The BPM needs to be right or else the waveform is going to go at a different speed than what you're actually hearing, which isn't ideal. Um, if I just open up this track and skip ahead so we can get some beats playing. Cool. Now what we can do here is we can click and drag to zoom in. And you can see there's our kicks and our snares and all of our stuff like that. So that's good. Currently there's no way to have this automatically following, which is another pain in the ass, but we might be able to figure that out a bit later. Okay, I'm just going to drag in another track, so click this one here. Again, notice that it's got the BPM in the file name, and I'm just going to hit play on this track. And hit reset again for now. Very good, and of course with this track I'm going to move ahead as well. Move, move up to here and we can zoom in it's not a very good mix sorry but just to give you an idea now the last thing is I'm just going to drag in one more track here just to show you that it automatically updates when you uh, play a new track so I'm going to play this new track here and you'll see now that this track is playing I might have to hit reset again there we go and we'll stop that track for now. Right, so now there's a couple of things you need to note here. It's really not perfect. Who's that? Um, it's not perfect. It needs some work. Um, if you have silence at the start of your track, that's going to be a slight issue. It's not really going to matter too much if it's kind of in the milliseconds, but um, it does actually read the file directly from your hard drive when you when you play it and then generate a whole new waveform. So that's something I need to iron out. It also can only pick up, as far as I know, WAV files, AIF files, and MP3 files. Um, doesn't doesn't really play nicely with things like FLAC or MPA um, files or whatever Apple's iTunes one is. So uh, that's that's another downfall of it so far, but we'll get there, we'll get there. Anyway, I'm just really excited that I've got it working. It's been a request that people have been asking me for a long time, and it's been really difficult for me to try and figure out. But uh, here it is. So go and have a download, have a play, and let me know how it goes for you. Cheers, Tom Cosm.